Games often throw bosses at us that pose a true test of skill, but every so often they even go a step beyond that. They pit us against bosses that are designed as impossible encounters that more or less require you to lose, either as special encounters or story-related set pieces. In this feature, we'll be taking a look at a few such boss encounters, and without further ado, let's get started. Genichiro Ashina Tutorial Fight Sekiro Shadows Die Twice Basically, every boss fight in Sekiro can be a hopeless one, depending on what kind of a player you are. But the tutorial boss fight against Genichiro Ashina in the opening minutes of the game is actually hopeless. It's designed as a super tough encounter, so the average player simply can't get past it, and losing the fight leads to a story cutscene where the wolf's arm gets cut off. It is technically possible to defeat Genichiro in this encounter, but all this does is give you a slightly altered cutscene where your arm still ends up getting cut off. Final Boss – Tactics Orge The Knight of Lotus Tactics Orge The Knight of Lotus's final boss can be tackled in a very specific way, requiring you to use a specific weapon, but even so, it's a tough encounter. Regular enemies, who are no pushovers either, are summoned by the boss constantly, while the boss won't take any damage either unless you're attacking with the aforementioned weapon. You even get a proper ending to the game if you lose the battle, so it's not even like victory is the only way to progress. Fortune Metal Gear Solid 2 Raiden comes across some truly formidable foes during the events of Metal Gear Solid 2, but his fight against Fortune is the one that sees him most hopelessly outmatched. Fortune can, of course, deflect any bullet shot at her, while even grenades that Raiden throws in her direction simply refuse to explode. All you can do is survive for a certain period of time before the story intervenes and the encounter comes to an end. Nadine Uncharted 4 Calling Nate's fistfights against Nadine in Uncharted 4 boss fights is a bit of a stretch, but even so, given how Nadine is pretty much untouchable in both those set-piece face-offs, she fits the bill for this feature. The first time Nate comes up against her, he can't even land a hit. For their second fight, Nate and Sam fight her two-on-one, and although they're at least able to land some hits in this time, they're still unable to beat her. Ridley, Super Metroid One of the series' primary antagonists, the first time Ridley appears in Super Metroid, he's impossible to beat. Though Samus can land hits on Ridley, they seem to have no effect on him. Either after you've taken enough damage or after you've hit Ridley a certain number of times, the fight ends only one way, with Ridley flying away. Anubis – Zone of the Enders The final boss fight against Anubis in the Zone of the Enders pits you against one of the most formidable foes in the entire game. So formidable, in fact, that it's literally impossible for you to beat him. All you can do is wait it out until another character swoops in to save your hide and until that time, your only options are to run and hide from Anubis' attacks. Last Stand – Halo Reach Nerbal Six's final stand against the Covenant forces while the Pillar of Autumn makes its escape is not technically a boss fight, as much as it is a desperate stand against advancing waves of enemy forces, but it is nonetheless the very definition of hopeless. The very point is to survive against insurmountable odds for as long as you can, before meeting your inevitable and unavoidable death. Lisa Trevor – Resident Evil Remake One of the biggest additions Resident Evil Remake made to the original game was Lisa Trevor, a more constant presence than an isolated boss fight. Lisa Trevor is perhaps one of the most terrifying enemies we've come across in a Resident Evil game. All you can do if you find yourself facing her is try and slow her down and look for an opportunity to run away, because any attacks she can deal are downright deadly. Tyrant – Resident Evil 2 Similar to Lisa Trevor in the Resident Evil remake, the Tyrant, or Mr. X in Resident Evil 2, more so the remake, is a constant threat that simply will not go away. Multiple hits from larger weapons will make him go down temporarily, giving you the chance to flee, but all that gives you is a few precious seconds. The constant hide-and-seek you play with Mr. X in Resident Evil 2 is one of the best things about the game, even more so than the actual set-piece boss fights against him. T-Rex – Dino Crisis From one Capcom survival horror franchise to another, Dino Crisis was a game that had a brand of horror quite different from that of Resident Evil, 
with the dinosaurs posing a much more immediate threat with their speed and ferocity. And the dinosaur that did so more than all the others was, of course, the T-Rex. Getting caught by the king of the jungle meant being swallowed whole, literally, and your only course of action against it was slowing it down with gunfire. Kusabi Fatal Frame 2 The Kusabi isn't, of course, unbeatable when he appears as a proper boss battle near the end of Fatal Frame 2, but any time you run into him before that, he is invincible. The camera obscura has no impact on the ghost whatsoever, and even getting touched by him will lead to your instant death. Your only option is to run in the other direction. Charon, God of War Chains of Olympus Kratos comes face to face with Charon, the ferryman of death, two times while he's in Tartarus, which of course means that he's beaten in their first fight. Charon can only be beaten using the Gauntlet of Zeus, and only after his first defeat does Kratos cross all of Tartarus and return with the Gauntlets, which is when he's finally able to beat the ferryman. Dunyu Shenmue 2 There's a couple of such instances where Ryo finds himself in fights he cannot win in Shenmue 2, but the one we're talking about here is the fight against Dunyu and his henchmen. There is only one way this fight can end. After a certain period of time, the game will inevitably show you a cutscene that shows Dunyu beating Ryo. Kathun, World of Warcraft Kathun in World of Warcraft as it exists right now has, after several nerfs, become a much easier boss to defeat. But in its original form all those years ago, even though he was technically beatable, this was still a hopeless boss fight for many. With a ridiculously vast pool of health and a range of deadly attacks, Cthun would require large groups of players to work together for long stretches of time before finally going down. Ultron Sigma – Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite This is another one of those boss fights that are designed as segues in the story rather than actual fights. Your encounter against Ultron Sigma can only end one way, with you getting beaten. Equipped with an Infinity Stone and a frustrating resistance to most attacks you can land, Ultron Sigma quickly makes short work of the player. And that wraps it up. If you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing to our channel. We upload new videos daily, so make sure you don't miss them by subscribing. We appreciate your support, and we thank you for checking us out.